everyone welcome back once again for another review on the zx spectrum it's the 48k this time my name is nick and we're playing doomsday castle published by fantasy software in 1983 it's supposed to follow on loosely from the game the pyramid and then leads to the game backpackers guide to the universe but it doesn't really matter which was a year later essentially this game is a maze game we've got to blast your way through 25 halls there's four exits on each one i'll try and explain it to you as we go uh, forward but you're in this little ship here as I go into the central place we need to blast the red door here first of all to release the crystal I think every 16 shots or so uh, it will drain my energy and my ship will turn to yellow they're like that and I can only regenerate it by shooting some of the Nazis which come down consistently so here we go now this is my first go on the thing so don't expect expert plane play I know you don't uh, there so we'll see how you get on with the first or second go there's enemies firing at you no energy bar I can make out if you take too many shots your ship will explode so what I'm trying to do first of all then is release oh my god release the crystal here by firing my 16 shots and then get into it now each uh, um, level will have red doors in the way if you blast right so i've got the crystal once i've done that that enables me to blast a door you can't do it beforehand pick which one you want to go through um, and yes and don't get shot so that's essentially it so you basically um try and visit as much of the map as you possibly can 25 halls four exits each time right i'd like an energy bar but there isn't one here once you've blown away the door, just by getting in front of it, it will suck you through into the next uh, place. So that's it. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. The crystal's apparently made of helicolium, and that powers your shields for the next stage. Right, I've gone white again, because I've shot enough stuff. Without the instructions, it might seem a bit weird, but I've just uh, explained to you briefly what's going on, so hopefully uh, you know uh, what's happening. Uh, to have a look at the review of the pyramid reviewed a little while ago and more recently at time recording the backpackers guide to the universe which uh, doesn't really follow on for this at all but at least the pyramid you're in the same sort of ship being controlled by Ziggy Ziggy play guitar yes David Bowie yes right uh, I like the graphics on this one that sounds nice and colorful but that magenta thing going up and down is pretty crazy uh, when it does go up and down it's like a big claw thing if you apparently have a big claw thing trapped to your head, then comment in the comment section below. All right, can I, can I get through there now? Almost, almost done it. Almost done it. So I'm quite interested to see what the other stages look like when we get through there, if indeed I can. So will I can get past level one on my first go? The answer is yes. Here we go. You've just left the hall of the de demonic Nashers, and now we're here. Oh, this is an inconnecting the chamber. Our points, I think, are in the bottom middle, are they? Have a look at that goes up and down. We start shooting stuff. Oh, God. Oh, actually, that might be my energy. It's going down, isn't it? Yes, that must be my energy then. P2682. So have a look at that then. Each time I'm colliding with stuff, the energy seems to be going down. So that's our indication. Right, I've, I've cracked it now, baby. Uh, let me through. I need to shoot a certain amount. Right, let's see. There, it's a survive amount of time. I'll shoot a number of time, and it's open. And this looks very familiar indeed. So all that's different is there's different enemies coming down. But the screen is essentially the same. Got that in pyramid really, uh, going down different directions to get different enemies, either going horizontally or vertically. So it's a very similar idea. Uh, again, I've got 16 shots. Well, as soon as I use the 16 shots, I turn yellow. My energy is depleted. I can only um, get energy back by shooting the enemies that are coming down the screen. And that's when you become vulnerable because they might hit you and you might blow up at some point. You never know. If you've blown up at some point, then comment in the comment section below. Was it a nice experience uh, there? Right, okay. Um, let's let's uh, blast this and get through here. So it's Doomsday Castle. Now, if you want to see other ZX Spectrum games we've reviewed, everyone knows how to get there. In case you don't, click on the... There's a link in the description, or click on the username. It takes you to the channel page. Click on the playlist tab. The ZX Spectrum will be there, along with other stuff. And while I'm talking about that uh, stuff, as I do every video... If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you like this kind of nincompoopery, where it's stress busting, it's not a walkthrough, we're just mucking about and talking silly uh, there as a diversion or a blown up from the normal life. I've destroyed good. Well, I quite like that. That was good. Uh, that was a good game, though. Doomsday Castle. I like it already. It's basic, it's 1983, but for 1983, it's jolly good. It's classic ZX Spectrum fare, and that's what I like. I'm not quite sure what other systems this come out on, if anything at all. 
Now, influenced by the period in particular, maybe a little bit by this game as well, is a homebrew called Forward to the Past by Sloney Soft. So I recommend that uh, by Dave and Nate Sloan. Uh, so, uh, yep, yeah, they use this, a similar sort of ship, uh, which is pretty nifty. That's much, much more advanced than this because it was done much later. Uh, so things are firing bubbles at us. Can I get off level one twice in a row? You never know. Does lightning strike twice? Normally, I get gradually worse as the game gets forward. So I've shown you two hallways and an in-connecting hallway. Right, is that it? I need to go white again before I collect the crystal. Boom. Come on, I want to go white. How many do I need to shoot before I go white again? Whoa, whoa. Boof, boof. Count them. What? Yeah, they go white. Good. Right, here we go. Get the blue crystal. Boof. That enables me to shoot any of the red doors I want. The, the lower one is easier. Because, um, no, these guardians are either side. Maybe I want to take the one above it. But I'm always going to take the easiest route I possibly can. Why not? The easy way. To always take the easy way. But ZX Spectrum, gotta love it. Uh, we're never going to run out of reviewing games. I remember about five or six years ago, someone said to me, Oh, you've reviewed quite a lot of games now, you're going to run out. But five or six years ago, shows what they know. Uh, I'm, I'm still barely scratching the surface. So, so many games out there. So, so many games. Seems like everyone was trying to make them. Did you make a game? Let me know. Did it... I mean, the amount of people that made games in their bedroom and never sent it anywhere. That, that, that must be like hundreds of thousands more, I would have thought. All uh, unpublished mods and influences from other games and new games in themselves. Uh, you know, it'd be good to see all of those. What a treasure trove that would be. Has the ZX Spectrum got the most games out of any system that was ever invented ever? Uh, both uh, unofficial and official? Maybe. Maybe. So I, I seem to that I'm getting off level 1 each time uh, without too much um, issues. Uh, so my energy isn't going down there, is it? Staying on 500. Maybe that isn't energy. It's just staying on 500, baby. Right. Now, I need to get... I'm sure I can get for that exit now. That's it. I'm through. Da -da -da. Shield power 496, it says. Stones collected. There's it. Right, now the shield starts going down big styly. I just want to survive as much as I can through here. Uh, shoot a number of stuff, and then the red door will open. Just don't get pedish dashed Don't get blown up. Don't bump into a big mothball. Is it a mothball coming backward and forward? Oh, man, it's quite busy in here. It's like the busiest of clubs on New Year's Day. We pay too much money to get in. And people just bumping into you. Open the red door. Oh, God. Right, it's open. Right, get out of here. On to the next, into the next chamber. Hello, it's me. Uh, well, I suppose the interest here would be taking a different route each time and seeing what particular aliens were about to mess with your brain, really. If you've got aliens uh, messing about with your brain, then comment in the comment section below. How did you get in such a predicament? I don't know. Crazy. Not like me. Right. Come on. Just blasting stuff. We like to blast it, blast it, blast it. So that's essentially the game then. I think the uh, screen's going to be more or less the same. Uh, the only variety will be the different aliens coming down and seeing what they look like. Uh, but, uh, you know, pterodactyl face in the middle there, and magenta going up and down, and then doing his clamping on that uh, chamber. Um, it's good to have a hobby. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's that. That's probably the best graphic in the whole game, really. Uh, if, you, if you have completed this, I mean, it won't be easy to do a bit of grinding going on, but if you have completed this, then let me know in the comment section below what happens at the end. I mean, I haven't completed the pyramid either. But, uh, yes, right, trying to, get that, trying to get that second one, but I think, uh, in all probability, I'm either going to die or give up before I get through that one in the top, top cent, top right. It's not even blasting it now, because I've gone yellow. Uh, as soon as you go yellow, your shots are worth nothing. You're firing blanks. You need to go white. I mean, that laser that the magenta creature in the middle fires, that's pretty deadly, that, isn't it? Just ricochets all round the room. Uh, more chance of shooting yourself if you do that. The things are blooming nincompoop. Don't be a nincompoop. If you're a magenta tentacle thing, pterodactyl wally, uh, if you're a magenta pterodactyl uh, ninja wally, then don't fire lasers all round a room where the things r r bounce off because you're going to kill yourself. That's a lesson to be learnt there for everyone. Right, I've almost got through that top bit. Please don't blow up. I'm almost through the top bit. I'm almost through the top bit. Come on. 
Oh, I've gone yellow right at the wrong time. I've got a touch of jaundice there. And yellow like Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. Woohoo! Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, man. That's the worst, worst uh, impression ever. But, you know, I had to do it. Better out than in, unless you're in a pack lift. Oh, God, I've exploded. Much like the explosion in the pyramid. Well, I hope you like to have a look at that one. I really like that game. Was it better than the pyramid? No, I prefer the pyramid. But it's just got spatterings of that, and I can highly recommend it. It's a good game to uh, be in touch with. So good. I would have liked this back in the day. So I hope you like to have a look at that game. It was Doomsday Castle, published by Fantasy Software in 1983. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, by all means, slap that in the comment section below. Create a bit of activity on this crazy machine. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. God, right, it's open, mate. Get out of here. Onto the next, into the next chamber. Hello, it's me.